morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of WNBA Best Bets presented by BetMGM. I'm Cooper Boni for Odd Shopper. You guys can find me on social media at Crashboards DFS. WNBA Finals starting today, guys, at 3 p.m. Got the Sun versus the Aces games in Las Vegas. Should be a great series. Have a couple of picks for that one. Before we head into that, let's go ahead and go over our picks from the other night, from the last time we had video out. We went 1-0 in our best bets. We took Connecticut as the underdog, plus 155. So got that at plus money. A nice little come up if you guys bet that with me. The Sun ended up winning and advancing. Uh, also went 1-1 one one in prize picks, I believe. The Candace Parker first half prop that we took did not hit. The Dewana Bonner fantasy score prop hit once again. So 2-1 and one on the night. 1-0 on our best bets. Let's go ahead and hop into the picks that I like for tonight, guys. Obviously, just one game, so it's not going to be anything insane, but wanted to provide you guys with something. So the picks, I'm going to go with two. Las Vegas Aces, minus 6.5, getting that at minus 105. And then also, I like the over 169.5 total points, getting that at minus 110. Just a couple of notes here, guys. So these two teams have played great basketball all year. If you've kept up with the WNBA season at all this year, you know, Connecticut is a physical, strong, gritty defensive team. The Aces, obviously a finesse, high point scoring, great offensive, very active team. Uh, both teams are mostly healthy. Connecticut should be completely good to go. The only issue that the Aces should have is Derrica Hamby. She came back last series, I believe in game three. She played two games, games three and four. She averaged just four minutes per game in those, so... While Derek Amby's back, she was extremely limited when she came back. So I'm expecting Kia Stokes to still see a bit of those minutes. I do expect Derek Amby to get a bump in minutes, which should help the Aces since they've had a couple of days since their game four. In terms of the Sun guys, they ended up pulling out a win in game five against the defending champion Chicago Sky. A thrilling comeback in the fourth quarter. They went on a huge run. Just goes to show how gritty this team can be. A Bonner, like I said in the last couple of videos, guys, she's become the go-to player for Connecticut in these playoffs. John Paul Jones, last year's WNBA MVP. Alyssa Thomas, they've been playing some inconsistent basketball, for being honest. Bonner has been the go-to player for this team. She's answered the call time and time again. Every single time this team needs her, she steps up and she's right there to lead them to a victory. The Suns' last series versus the Sky was very long, very hard fought. Five games. As I mentioned, they were down going into the fourth by, by I think, double digits. So very hard fought series. They struggled to score on most nights, but their defense was impeccable for the majority of that series. In terms of the Aces, guys, they managed to beat Seattle in just four games in their semifinals matchup. They survived a few monster games from Brianna Stewart. If you guys checked any of that series out, she was having 30-plus games. She had a 40-plus point game. Uh, she was ridiculous. But Asia Wilson showed up huge in the final few games after not starting off incredibly in the series. Chelsea Gray was absolutely dominant in this series, guys. It was insane. It's like she turned the clocks back. I mean, not that she's some dinosaur, but she looked she looked awesome. I mean, it, when she was putting up any shots, mid-range three, you truly expect it to go in. It's like when we watch Steph Curry and you're like, oh, that's going in. I'd be completely shocked if that missed. That's how we were feeling with Chelsea Gray. Mid-range, fades, uh, three-point shots, pull-ups. It was, it was really fun to watch. I expect Chelsea Gray to have a huge, huge finals. I think her and Asia Wilson both had a huge series in this series against the Sun. Uh, they also got a lot of help from Kelsey Plum, Jackie Young. You guys know this Aces team. Very good offensive team. Three former number one overall picks. I mean, you know what they can do offensively. They did that last series. They had a few really good games. All their players seemed to step up at the right times. Uh, they're also just, in general, they're playing great basketball. They were at the end of the season. They are in the playoffs. It's the perfect time. It seems like they're starting to kind of peak at the perfect time. So, uh, as they're heading into these finals, I think they'll be playing with a lot of confidence for that reason. During the regular season, uh, the Aces were the better scoring team, best offensive team in the league. The Sun, obviously, as I mentioned, were the better defensive team, one of the best defensive teams, one of the most physical teams in the league. I think this series is going to go back and forth. If it's anything like the meetings we saw in the regular season, they should be pretty close. All three games stayed within 10 points with Las Vegas winning. The regular season series two to one so no blowouts in those that's a good sign in terms of having a nice competitive series and the final note i have for this one guys it just kind of circles back to the picks that i like for tonight 
When betting this first game, I'm going to roll with the Aces to win at home somewhat comfortably, obviously, taking the minus six and a half. They are at home. They've had more rest in Connecticut leading up to game one. Connecticut had to travel to Chicago for that game five against the defending champions. Win and comeback fashion in the fourth quarter. So a lot of energy. It's been a lot of travel for them. Now they head directly to Las Vegas for another away game to start these WNBA finals. Just been a lot of travel, a lot of games, less rest than Las Vegas. Therefore, I'm going to take Las Vegas minus six and a half in this one for those reasons. Also, I think in terms of the point total, guys, it's set at 169 and a half. Best bet to make there is going to be the over. In their three meetings in the regular season, these teams averaged 177 combined points per game. They had 170 or more points combined in all three matchups. And also, guys, it's just game one of the WNBA Finals. As we know, towards the end of the series, we're going to see a lot of hard-fought, defensive, gritty, getting in your games. And I just don't think that for game one with a high scoring team like Las Vegas with a tired drain Connecticut sun as the series starts, they should have more energy and play better, play with more juice as the series go on. But I have a feeling due to the travel, due to all that stuff going on, it's going to be a tougher game for Connecticut. I still think a lot of points are going to be scored. I definitely think we can hit this over 169 and a half. So I am going to pair that with the aces minus six and a half. Obviously guys, you don't have to parlay everything. If you like one of the bets more than the other based on explanations, take that, roll with it a single bet. You don't always have to parlay things. And you don't have to force bets in, just one game. So those picks, guys, again, one last time, Las Vegas Aces minus 6.5, getting that minus 105, and the over 169.5 total points for the game. As always, guys, wanted to mention this show is brought to you by BetMGM. They have a risk-free first bet going on right now up to $1,000. So click the link below down in the description, or you guys can head on over, type in promo code OSWMBA at BetMGM, and that will get you involved with this risk-free first bet as well. It's up to $1,000, as I mentioned, risk-free. So I would definitely head on over there and get involved if you want to get into betting action today. One more thing, guys, as always, like and subscribe to the Odd Shopper YouTube page. Can't tell you enough how much it helps us out. And we have such great content coming out. A lot of great content creators, all different sports. We have NFL starting today, Sunday, September 11th. So stay in tune with all the content. Stay notified and up to date with every time we're dropping new stuff so we can help you out with your gambling needs. And hope you guys win some money tonight, guys. I will be back for videos before game two. If you guys want to go check out my Twitter, Crashboards DFS, I'm going to be posting some stuff for NFL as well. So go give that a look. And again, hope everybody has a good time gambling, watching the games. Until next time, later.